we came into this partnership because, as they say, there's strength in unity. Each college benefited from the strengths of the other. We realized that the three colleges had issues similar. So we decided to partner with them instead of going solo. So the two projects, though one looked at providing safety and the other looked at building capacity for teacher trainees, we had the common goal of getting the teacher trainee practice in a serene environment to be able to develop enough of the competence that a teacher needs. The teacher trainees did not have enough exposure to practical teaching, so we set out to fill that gap. We asked to include on-campus teaching practice sessions on the academic calendar and then on the school's timetable. Good afternoon, class. Good afternoon, so that the teacher trainees on campus will have enough practical experience before they go out to do off-campus teaching practice with live children. So I want all of you to participate. Is that clear? Formerly, we had three weeks of on-campus teaching practice, but now we have five weeks. We have seen a great improvement. The majority of the trainees recorded grade A in on-campus teaching practice. The mentors are the teachers on the field who our trainees go to and receive practical training. A lot of the mentors in our partner basic schools did not have knowledge about the learner-centered approaches of teaching. So we put them in various groups and then we, we gave them training on the creative approaches. For about 14 years I have been teaching. This program has helped me to become a better teacher. Above all, we empowered our mentors to also be part of the assessment of our trainees, something that used not to happen. The mentor assess by writing something brief about the performance of the mentee. And then forwarding it to the lead mentor. Then I now share it. When there are tutors from colleges, education visit. It motivates me because when I'm doing well in the demonstration school, they will know. And when I'm doing bad, they will know as well. These activities were undertaken in all the three colleges. In the area of the teaching practice where St. Francis led, the mentors attested to the fact that the trainees that were brought on board within the project year had better ways of lesson delivery. Yeah. All right. The first quarter helped us to carry out sensitization workshops for all stakeholders within the project. Following that, we had to go into the communities, carrying out intra-community meetings with the community leadership, including the chiefs, the elders, the assembly members, the mentors, lead mentors, to earmark strategies in helping teacher trainees have a safer environment. And so we had the policy developed by these three colleges and followed by that, we had cluster meetings with on-campus students to see how their safety was provided within the project duration. There's a strong collaboration now. Partnership communities are ready to welcome us, welcome our students to provide them the needed support in the various schools. Our collaboration 
had benefited us so much and we are still reaping the benefits and will continue. We still visit each other, going to each other's college, making inputs to practices and taking advice, pieces of advice from each other. The three partner colleges are now closely knit together and the project team members have said that there should be another project beyond this one. Now that the new curriculum is coming, we want to see inroads or ways through which we can build on uh, so that our partnership can be stronger, so that we can move the college further.